Mick Gray chats with Robert Gordon and Friends, October 22nd, 2021. Robert, how are you? Tired. We just got off stage. How was the show? The show was good, man. You know, I feel good. That's, um, that's we fantastic. just done like five, we just done about five shows and uh, now we got a break until February. Were these your first shows back? Uh, yeah, these were the first ones back, man. You know, it's been pretty rough for the past fucking two years, you know. I can imagine. I mean, you know, you know how it is, man. You know, you got to make ends meet somehow. That's right. That's right. Yeah. I'm, I'm so glad to hear that you guys are on the road and you got an amazing band there. Good band. You know, uh, unfortunately, this was the last show for a while. Yeah. Uh, Steve Conti, the guitar player, is going to Norway. Oh. Uh, Albert, Albert Bouchard, the drummer, uh, is working with... Uh, with the dictators and some other people as well. Cool. And uh, of course, John Willoughby has a regular gig. And I, uh, I'm just sitting on my ass now. No, actually. Working actually, on the new record. Know. Working was, on the new record, right? I was just gonna say, yeah, we're, we're in the midst of finishing this new album, which I'm very excited about. Tell us a little bit about it. I am excited about it. Well, you know, I, I can't really talk too much about it, except that it's not rockabilly at all. Wow. And it's very exciting to me because I've got four original songs on that I've wanted to get out for a long time. And Chris Bedding's got two songs, originals. Wow. And uh, we did most of it in New York and some of it in uh, in um, Finland. Uh, I'm sorry, in uh, Denmark, yeah. But uh, it's just really exciting to get this new stuff out. Well, I've always, you know, I've been a fan of yours forever and ever, and I've always kind of felt like you had in you you always wanted to do that more a different sound even though you were so good at what you did with rockabilly but i it always felt like you wanted to put an album that was right. a little different out. you're right and i'll tell you in the mid 80s uh we were doing some of it me and chris and mm -hmm. the great bobby chenard on drums and of course tony garnier who's now with bob dylan right. uh, on bass but uh, that was an amazing band and we did do a lot of the new stuff uh which is now uh, going to be heard finally. That's fantastic. It's exciting. Anyway, man. Uh, it's here. great to talk to you. And also, Albert Burchard from Blue Oyster Colt is is engineering and is mixing that record. Albert Burchard. Well, we we already uh, sort of pre uh, mixed and produced the record, and but of course Chris Spinning's in the UK, so we had him do some overdubs and send them. And I did some more background work and Albert did the editing. So he is definitely involved in the in the uh, final process. That's fantastic, man. It's so yeah. cool to hear. Um, any idea of uh, when this could be available to us? It's true. Uh, I, I'm just glad, you know, Albert and I wrote a number of these songs together many, many years ago. So wow. he's excited, too. Yeah, that's really it, cool. It, it, yeah. A long time ago. So you guys, anyway, you you and Albert have known each other for a long, long time. Since the 70s, yeah. Wow, that's fantastic. I didn't know that. I never connected yeah. you guys. So he wrote these songs. I tell you, we were we were on a, well, him, me, and this other uh, gentleman named Mark Barkin, who's since passed away, must have written 30 songs in, in about a month. Whoa. It was amazing. It was quite an experience. And and these are, these are, uh, uh, four of those songs, and uh, I can't wait to get it out. Great. Any any uh, idea when it will possibly be available? I really don't. You know, we're we're just uh, it's, we haven't even mastered the thing yet. Oh uh, yeah. So we got a ways to go. Probably four to six months. Yeah. Well, we'll be waiting for it. We'll be ready. Cool. It's called it's called Hellified. Oh, that's the title. What that a name. Was, uh, well, Bobby Chenard the drummer who's since passed as well, coined that phrase, you know, when something's amazing, it's hellified. hellified. So, and it's Robert Gordon with Chris Spedding. Whoa. Anyway, great talking to you, man. I'm so gonna good. put the bass player on now. Oh yes, please do, John man. Willoughby. Yes, Hold love on to talk to you. Good talking to you, man. Good talking to you, thank you, Robert. Thank you. This is uh, John Willoughby, he's been playing bass. Uh, yes. Robert. Polecats, you know. Yes, I'd love to talk to him. John. Fine. <laughs> How you nice, doing, man? So nice to meet you, man. Yeah, likewise, likewise. How how's how have the show's been going for you? Yeah, pretty good. I'm really excited. 
You yeah. know, playing with these like supreme cats, I feel like I'm the the lesser the lesser of the uh, gang. But um, you know, well, it's a very eclectic mix. This, but it's working. You know. Yeah. Well, you've played with Robert in the past. You and you're on the uh, Live at the Paradiso album with Chris and Robert. That's, right? That is correct. Yeah, you're one of the only per people on earth who knows that. That's a, or, I, or bought it. I like these guys a little bit. I can't, you know, I must say, yeah, but but uh, yeah, now you you're also been involved with the Polecats over the years. Over the years, yeah, off and on, yeah. They're they're basically backing up Morrissey nowadays. Really? Yeah, Boz is the uh, music musical director and the guitar player for him, and Alan White. That's cool. He's uh, he's doing a residency in Vegas with him now, no less. Wow. Now, what are you off to now? Everybody's off to different projects. What are you off to? Well, I'm off to a warehouse to work and, and sweat like a dog uh, that, <laughs> for a day gig. I have to have a regular check, you know. God damn it. I hate those day gigs, man. Why yeah, do they always they get do. in the way of having fun, man? Yeah, they do. They suck. But I mean, <laughs> this has been an absolute treat for me to, you know, get back with Robert. You know. Oh, where do you live, John? Uh, I live in near Newark, if you know where that is in oh, New yeah. Jersey. Yeah, I was born in... Where the plane comes in there, yeah. Right, I was born in Tom's River. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, down the shore, not a million yeah. miles from the Springsteen neck of the woods. Yeah, I haven't been to New Jersey in years and years and years and years and years. I'm a California boy, but... Oh, you're not missing much, by the way. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I'll say every time I go to California, it's a change in place, you know? I'm I'm living on the coast in California now. I'm just in heaven, man. I live down by Monterey in California, man. It's just like yeah, I know where it's Monterey Beach, but I mean, I I don't know. I lived in in LA for a couple of years. It, it was all right. Um, found it very clicky. I found it very clicky. This one doesn't talk to that one, and that one doesn't talk to him anymore. It was very clicky. Yeah, LA is a very tough town. I don't think I could live there. No, no, no. You know, it was up in the Hollywood. I mean, but you know, I like bright lights and concrete under my feet when the sun goes down you know so it's new york all the way you know, just, just that to be so you're an upright bass player you play upright bass all the time yep yep fantastic man the other bass is a, a, a toy for girls <laughs> i love it mm. but um I am so exhausted. Well, we're all getting exhausted here in this. Uh, well, all about nodding out. Let me see if I can um, get hold of uh, Bill or Albert for you. To yeah, hold on. Know. I'm gonna I'm gonna put on a song from uh, Live from the Paradiso, and then when you find well, somebody you know else, I, I I didn't know that that thing actually played in America. It was like on a different, um, you know, a different like sort of a band length or something. It was like, you know series two or something. It didn't play here. Well, I'm on a different band wave with, with myself, so I guess that's why I connect with it. You know. Oh, well, maybe maybe so. Yeah. <laughs> Give him a shout, Robert. Hey. Give Albert a shout. I'm trying to. Oh. Okay. Hold, okay. I'm gonna put a tune on. I'm gonna, hold on. Let me let me put a I tune like on. I like the song "Gunfight" on that. Oh, yeah. that's a good oh, no, one. A I have one queued up here, though. I have. Here we go. I have a hello walls. Thank you, John, for, for coming in and talking yeah. to us. Hopefully yeah, likewise, man. We Hold talk. on, let's see if we can get a... Uh, oh, wait. We... You just oh, never know on KMIC Radio what's happening next. Get ready, people. There might be another great rock star coming in here. I don't know. You go down there. All right, let me okay. see if I can get him in the meantime. Okay, I'm going to put you bear, on... Bear with me as I... Bear with me as I... I'm going to I'm gonna mute you. I'm going to play a song. Yeah, yeah, do <laughs> Thank that. Thank you, John. In the... In the Hey man, Steve Conti, so great to talk to you. How are you, Mick? I love your playing, man. Oh, thank you. You rock. Now I just want to plug some stuff because I know you want to run, but you got a brand new record. You know, Bronx Cheer. Nice. Oh, you know about it. All right. Heck yeah! And we, you know, we want to plug it for you. It's a great record. Yeah. Oh, please. Uh, I'd love to come on and talk to you uh, about it and play some tracks. And hey, blah, yeah, blah, let's. Blah, blah, blah. Let's do a whole show sometime soon. You can yeah, come on, we'll KMIC Radio, and we'll play your record. We'll do that. Love to. Uh, I'll get, I'll give, uh, Bill has my email, and I'll yeah. get yours, and whatever. And, uh, yeah, yeah, this all gentleman. Your, all your listeners can hear it, and, yeah. um, it, you know, just uh, in case we don't get to it for a while, I'm having an album release party. Well, it's not really a party, but it's an album release gig. Uh, next Friday, a week from tonight, at the Cutting Room in New York City, 7 p.m. We're all so getting on. in the New York area. We're all getting on my Learjet, the KMIC Learjet, and we're flying out from California, and we're gonna we're gonna be there. 
Okay, what well, of you New York listeners, maybe? You know. <laughs> now, 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 uh, Steve here played in the last uh, rendition of the New York Dolls. People, this guy's an actual New York Doll. I made two studio albums, two live albums with them, 2004 through 2010. Hey, you know a guy I really like that you've been connected with. I just wanted to ask you real quick about your connection with Jesse Mallon. Yeah, Jesse sang on my last uh, record. Well, he's on this record too, actually, because. We put my last single on my new album. Ah. Stephen Van Zandt said, that's got to go on. I yeah. Said, okay, Silvio. <laughs> so, so, uh, so you're so on. Jesse, and Jesse sings on the B side. Uh, I put out a vinyl called Gimme Gimme Rockaway. Jesse sang uh, some of the lyrics with me. And then on the B side, we did uh, my version of Mercedes Benz, the Janis Joplin song. I'm going to play music, that. And Jesse took a verse. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play that later. Yeah, you can find that. It's yeah. on. It's, it's everywhere. It's really good, man. Really good. Yeah. So, so and you know, know uh, Bill says you know Michael Monroe. I play with Michael too. Yes, yes. I'm getting yeah. ready to go make a new record with him. Fantastic, man. I'm so glad we got to talk to you at least a little bit because I'll have you back on the show and we will just be casually listening to the new record at that point. Yeah. Good. Would love that. Yeah? All right, Mick. Thanks, Th man. And thank you for coming everybody. on, man. Cheers. See you next All time. Right. Hold on, I got uh, one more guy. Okay, bring him in. I'm, I'm signing off because you all heard me before. So it's Albert Bouchard. So. We love Bill Moore, Mosser. I'm sure. In case I don't see you. Uh, yeah. You know, before the holidays, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, we'll come next okay. week. Yes, I will, I, will be, I will see you at the cutting room. All right, man. Albert Bouchard. Yeah. Big fan, man. Been following your music for years and years and years. Thank you. How, how, you have a new record out too. Imagino's yes, number two. It, it came out today. Woo, perfect timing, man. We're plugging records today, baby. All right. So, yeah. Imagino's two. Now, you, you did Imagino's, you did a reimagination of the Blue Easter Cult original album because you, that was your baby, really. Yes. And you did a reimagination of it. And now, why is there a number two? Because originally, uh, it was supposed to be three records. It was, oh. you know, so the story, Sandy Perlman had, had created this three oh, chapters of the story. And um, and so uh, I, I saw him in the hospital before he died and he was conscious. And I uh, told him that I was gonna put out all three records. This wow. is in 2016. So uh, I felt like after the, Oh, what happened? Got, what? Bill, your him. wife is calling. Bill, well, your wife. Old. Uh, anyway, so can you still see me? I can hear you, but I can't see you. Yeah, yeah. Bill, oh, you want to talk to your, your wife? No. You know, no. Okay. So we're gonna decline decline that call. And there, are you still there? Yeah. Yeah. Are. This is okay. recorded too. You know, he's okay. recorded saying yes. that. So maybe you need to go and see her. She's inside, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So, so anyway, uh, so he was in the hospital, and I made a promise to him that I would do this, that I would do the three records, and and you know he was dying, so it's the kind of thing that you say to to hope, you know, hopefully he would get better, and you know all of that. So yeah. he didn't. So I kind of forgot about it for a while. And then when I started, uh, it was really the fans that they had written to me. There was a bunch of them, uh, you know, hundreds of fans had written to me saying, you should do your own version. So I said, well, let me try this, you know. And then I got this record deal with Deco and they said we, they want to put it out. And I said, well, you know, if it does well, I'll think about doing another record. And, you know, I put out a bunch of records. I put out, uh, I've, I've done uh, three records with Blue Coop. Yep. I've done nine records with the previous band, Brain Surgeons. I've done three solo records. And none of them have, I mean, they've done okay. You know, I sell a thousand, two thousand copies or something. But I've never made it, uh, any kind of dent in the business. And the Reimaginos thing got on the charts and sold a, uh, many thousands of records and wow. I, it, so, it outsold the blue oyster coat version which was on columbia so uh i said oh yeah i gotta do this i gotta do all three i gotta 
make good on this promise because this is what the fans want to hear. And, yeah. and I don't mind doing it. I love doing it. It's, yeah. it gives, it's a challenge. You know, I, I think, well, how can I do this better than the original? And some of these songs were really great in the original version. So it's, it's, uh, it's a, a challenge, but I like a challenge. Well, we'll have to have you back on the show too, and we'll talk more about it. We have big Blue Oyster Cult fans in this in this show here. So great! Uh, I've had Mr. Bloom has been on the show before, and uh, there's now there's members of Blue Oyster Cult involved in your record too, right? You're still connected. Yeah, yeah. With I I had uh, Richie, uh, uh, Eric, and and Buck all yeah. all playing on it. Uh, Eric just does a one little vocal bit in the begin the very beginning of the record and then uh, Richie plays an amazing lead on Seven Screaming Disbusters. He's he's and, one hell of a player, ain't he? That oh kid. my god, he is so Woo! great. And, Richie Casalano. And really, I have to give uh Richie props because uh he inspires me. He totally does. And and not only that, I think he inspires the other guys in Blue Oyster Cult. I mean, he is just you know, Albert, Albert, I have to say that when Richie got in the band, they all went, we're vital again. They, they went, we are vital again. I, he just brought blood into the band. He, new blood. He's my, he's my mini me. <laughs> That's he's what so, I think. It's like, so oh, good. they got somebody who can actually replace me. And it's not a drummer, <laughs> but it's this other guy, you know, he, he's replacing me and he's replacing Alan and, uh, you know, yeah, he's he's a phenomenal musician, really talented, and a great guy. Oh, just a wonderful guy, wonderful yeah. person, wonderful been, guy. So, yeah. so he he basically got the other guys involved in the record so for cool. me. So, That's so cool, you know. But they wanted to do it. I mean, after the first one, I had, I had given them copies and and uh, and I said, "What do you think?" And they, "Oh, we love it. It's great. We're so happy that you're doing this." And then, so when it came time to do this one, they were like totally all in all in right from the beginning that is you wonderful know? to hear i'm glad to hear you guys stay tight even though you're not necessarily in the same band you're still tight it's fine for me you know uh, as you see i'm here playing with robert gordon i'm yeah. you know playing and on sunday i'm going to play with my other band blue coop yeah. you know uh, and then and then i'm going to start working out with the dictators i love know, the dip. So. dictators are one of my favorite bands too i love them yeah man. yeah I know, me too. I, I I feel so uh so blessed. You know, it's what I when I moved to New York City, I wanted to be part of the of the music scene. You know, the local music scene. That's really what I wanted. You know, I was part of the local music scene in upstate New York, but it was, you know, it's only a thousand people. You know, yeah. New York City is gigantic. Different. It's like it's the center of the world, really. Yeah. Well, I, so, until until I was talking to Robert earlier, I never knew you and Robert knew each other since the, you know. Oh, yeah. Back. Almost 40 years. I think 37, 38 years. Wow. We've been, and we, we've written 40 songs together. That's what he was saying. Yeah. And and he's doing four on the new record. But, you know, my I'm looking beyond that. I'm like, let's do the Think about the next one, too. This it is sounds fucking great, right? <laughs> I, I heard it. <laughs> Sounds like a record. Yeah. I love they, it. I they, love it. They recorded this this uh, show tonight. And oh! It, this guy, the sound guy is really great. It sounds like hey, a record. Hey, send me a, tell, tell Bill to send me a copy. I want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Albert, Albert, please yeah. uh, get my contact from Bill and we'll have you back on the show and we'll talk about the new record and everything. Play it all. Sounds great. Sounds like a great thing. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here, man. Yeah, listen, um, are you happy with all that? Bill. Oh, all right. oh I'm about all right. ready to, I'm going to, I'm going to faint. All right. But you, you, you talk a lot anyway, so I'm going to go. And um, thanks for having us on. Thank and, you, uh, buddy. This, this this is like my Friday and Saturday night. Oh so. man! Give all my give all give my contact information to those guys. Thanks. We'll do other shows. Uh, oh, with them. Yes, you got it. So do it. Love you. you. Love you so much, man. You're the best, man. Uh -huh. And uh, we'll talk to you. We'll talk to you when we get a chance. You know, I got to get these guys in the car and get them home. So. Do do your job, buddy. Thank I'll, you. I'll talk, I'll talk to you Monday. Have I guess. A, have and, a, yeah. Have a great weekend.